Well, once again, I have the privilege of welcoming Pete Baker from Life Church Lancashire for today's Breakfast Bite. Hi, Pete. How are you doing? Hi, Nathan. I'm very good. Yeah, how are you? Very well, thank you. And it's good to see you again. Looking forward to another Breakfast Bite, uh, I presume another hero of the faith? Yes. Uh, yeah, today I wanted to think about uh, Thomas, one of the 12 disciples of Jesus. Oh, cool. We often know him as uh, Doubting Thomas, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's... Um, yeah, that's what I was kind of wanted to think about. Thomas, yeah, who we know as Doubting Thomas. So in John's Gospel, um, this is after the uh, crucifixion, after the resurrection. Uh, we've got Thomas in John chapter 20. Uh, Thomas, one of the 12, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So Jesus had, had uh, revealed himself to the disciples, but Thomas wasn't there at the time. So the other disciples told him, we've seen the Lord. Then he said to them, Unless I seal the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where his nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe, which I think is where we get the Dallas and Thomas thing from. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was, Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out, to your, reach out your hand and put it into my side stop doubting and believe thomas said to him my lord and my god Je then jesus told him because you have seen me you have believed blessed are those who have seen me uh, who have not seen me and yet believe so that's john's gospel and um jesus there is talking about us you know uh, thomas is one of the 12 disciples thomas sees the miracles of jesus and then after the resurrection uh, thomas is unconvinced um about did jesus rise from the dead he's unconvinced and the other disciples see jesus and then thomas says unless i see it for myself i will not believe and a week later jesus then reveals himself to thomas uh, and thomas goes my lord and my god you know he comes to his realization of this is the son of god uh, jesus is not just another man not just another teacher this is the son of god stood before me and then jesus has these powerful words you know, blessed to you because you can see, uh, you, you believe because you can see, but so much more blessed are those who believe even though they do not see. So I wanted to encourage people today, particularly who may be people who doubt, who have concerns, who have questions, you know, maybe aren't totally convinced about the Christian faith. You know, join the club, very much so similar to Thomas. You know, Thomas, one of the 12, saw the miracles, you know, knew Jesus very well followed jesus around for three years was around the time of the crucifixion and and then sees the resurrected christ you know and sees it for himself and um then goes on to this is not in the gospels this is not in the bible but christian history t tells us that thomas then goes on to share the christian faith with people in india and a few years ago i went to india to uh, chennai in uh, southern india I was there visiting some friends who lead a Christian ministry. And uh, they took me to St. Thomas Mount in Chennai. And uh, you climb this mountain. At the top of this mountain is the place where Thomas was martyred, was killed for his faith. So Thomas became so convinced that Jesus was the son of God, that Jesus had rise, raised from the dead, that he then took the gospel to India. Uh, this is, you know, before uh, the British missionaries came to India, uh, a few hundred years later, Thomas took the gospel to the nation of India uh, 2,000 years ago. Uh, you know, just shortly after the life and, life and death of Jesus, Thomas took the gospel to India and was killed for his faith on top of this mountain. And you can go to the exact spot where he was martyred for his faith. And that city, Chennai, uh, is also known as Madras. Um, and that means that the word madras means uh, is where we get the word uh, madrasa from or monastery. So that the city literally means the city of the disciples or the city of the disciple. It's a city where one of the disciples of Jesus was killed for his faith. Thomas, that's where he was killed for his faith in India, in southern India. And that city, although it's a Hindu country, that city is absolutely full of churches everywhere you look. 
there's churches, Orthodox churches, big churches, small churches, house churches. It's the city of the disciples, Madrasa, Chennai. It's a city known for the faith of St. Thomas. So though we know Norman is doubting Thomas, we have this story where he doubted. Actually, his doubt was the beginning of faith. And I'm doing the Alpha course at the moment with a number of people through our church. And I'm loving seeing this, that people maybe start in a position of doubt, but their doubt is the beginning of their faith journey. So maybe for you today, you listen to this and maybe you do have doubt. Maybe you do have questions. That's good. That's not the opposite of faith. Actually, doubt can be the beginning of faith. You know, Thomas's doubt led him to faith and actually his faith conviction then led him to the other side of the planet. You know, took him from Israel to India and took the gospel to people that had never heard of this before. And 2000 years later, that city is named the city of the disciples and there's followers of Jesus all over that city who some of them trace their Christian heritage back to the British missionaries. But actually the the the. Christian heritage in India goes all the way back to Thomas, who obviously was one of the disciples of Jesus. So just a really, I think a really great uh, character, one of our heroes of the faith. And partly what makes him heroic is his questions, uh, his, um, his, his uh, doubt, his doubt, not the opposite of faith. The opposite of faith is fear. Uh, they, doubt is a part of faith. Uh, we can only really get to true faith through doubt, through questions. So I'd encourage you maybe to look at Alpha, you know, the Alpha course, I'm doing it at church at the moment, alphacourse.org, uh, find out where your nearest church is that's running an Alpha course. It's a great place, a safe place to ask the big questions of life, to bring your doubt, to bring your questions. And, and as I said, the last few days, I've spent a lot of time with people who are asking these big questions of life and beginning their faith journey, but through doubt. So yeah, think about Thomas. If you've got doubt, that's okay. Join the club. Uh, but don't let your doubt uh, take you away from God. Actually bring it to God. Bring your questions to God. That's what Thomas did. And, and Thomas got to see the risen Christ and got to live for Jesus for the rest of his days. And Thomas's legacy is a city known as a city of the disciples, Chennai in uh, southern India. Yeah, so lots maybe to consider, to uh chew over this morning as you have your breakfast bless yeah. you thank you very much awesome thanks so much pete uh great uh hero of of the faith i think we often he's often labeled as doubting thomas but um i've heard it said that you know how would how would the other disciples have been had they been in the same position had he swapped with one of them um would they have been <laughs> labeled as doubting i don't know doubting john or doubting james or something yeah yeah it's, it's, it's amazing isn't it actually and you're right going through that doubt is how we get to faith and it's it's not wrong to have questions i think oftentimes mm. we we fear questions almost but it yeah. is very healthy because it when we've aren't when we've got through that question that doubting we get even stronger in our faith as a result yeah yeah exactly yeah exactly yeah. well thanks so much pete really great breakfast bite for us today thank you so no, much and i'll look forward to seeing you next week yeah bless you thank you <laughs>